In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make one of the absolute simplest centres that you can on a loomed flower. This technique is called the twirl centre. You can use this technique on absolutely any loomed flower. It can be any shape, any size, any colour, any material, absolutely anything you like. I'm going to show you how to make a flower with a yarn centre, but you could easily do this with a twisted strip of fabric, a piece of ribbon straw, even some spun paper. Try it with any material you like. All you need for this technique is your flower, the material that you want to use to make the centre and some glue that suits the material that you're using. If you're using a paper yarn you can use PVA glue for fabric or yarn I would recommend a washable fabric glue because it really holds the material in place as you stick it down. I'll be using a washable fabric glue today in this tutorial. To start with, make a loomed flower on any loom of your choice and stitch the centre with a back stitch or stem stitch. As always, if you don't know how to work these techniques, check out my flower loom playlist on YouTube and you'll find tutorials on all of those techniques. Start by covering the centre of your flower with the glue. I'm using quite a thick glue and it really sits on top of the surface. So it looks like I'm putting a really, really large amount of glue here, but this is just enough to hold the yarn in place and it won't show once I've finished. Take the yarn for the centre of your flower and make a spiral. Pinch the yarn between your thumb and index finger and turn it slowly, wrapping the yarn into a spiral as you turn. Once it's large enough to cover the centre of your flower, cut the yarn and press the spiral straight down onto the glue. You can use a darning needle to tuck the end of the yarn underneath to hide it. And that's how simple this technique is. Just put your flower aside to dry. You could stick a bead or a button or a sequin in the centre if you want to. But that's all there is to it. Here's my finished flower with the twirl centre. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a comment, subscribe, or check out my other craft and cooking videos.